Esna sees disaster coming Anna's interference makes Ned panicky. Esna Prince will reportedly confide that she is concerned that all will fail, according to General Hospital. Esna might worry that with Laura Collins still intending to depart for Chechnya soon, Spencer Cassidine, Nicholas Chavez, and her will go to war in full force. Trina Robinson would hope to spend some quality time with Spencer in the meanwhile especially after their conversation was cut short the other day at the pool. There might be another Ace Cassidine, Jay, and Joey Clay. Scenario on Monday, since this plot is all about Spencer attempting to balance Trina and his big brother responsibilities. If Spencer has to terminate their time together with her once more, Trina might become irritated. Alexis Davis will press Diane Miller about Robert Scorpio's situation at the yoga studio. Although Diane will continue to put off meeting Robert, Alexis will give her one more push in that way. Felicia Scorpio will then exhibit tenacity as she informs Robert and Laura that they would never accept a no as an answer. She seems to be cutting herself off from the people who care about her. Thus, it appears that an Anna Devane intervention will be necessary. Despite Anna's best efforts, we are confident that she will receive some support on Monday's episode. Felicia, Robert, and Laura might swoop in to offer Anna a much-needed pep talk. It will be difficult for Anna to imagine never working as an agent again since she will feel as though her work with the WSB isn't finished. However, given that this can be a fresh start, Laura and the others might encourage Anna to think about other job options. Brooke Lynn Quartermain will claim on GH that there is no need to panic over Ned Quartermain's abduction but her voice will betray her. According to General Hospital, Brooke Lynn, Olivia Quartermain, and Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, will all be experiencing fear. Since Ned, Aka, Eddie Main, is standing behind Nina Reeves at the Savoy, he hasn't wandered too far, which is fortunate. On Monday's episode, Eddie will finally locate the person he has been looking for. Whether Nina or someone else is that person remains to be seen. Whatever the case, Sonny Corinthos, Morris Bernard, will provide us somewhere to stay. In spite of Sonny's promise to let Eddie stay in his penthouse for a while, Eddie will still be tempted to leave Port Charles for Las Vegas or another location. As for Michael Corinthos, he will keep worrying about Drew Kane's dreadful predicament and how Ned's forgetfulness is undoubtedly making things worse. Stay tight for all the complex news that will soon be revealed because general hospital spoilers indicate that all the Eddie chaos will have an impact on various PC residents. Who will represent Ned at ELQ while he is living the rock star life? Reports from General Hospital Eddie Main's presence will bring the Q family closer than they have been in months, despite the fact that Ned Quartermain may currently be out for the count. ELQ will be in a state of flux as a result of Ned's mental state, and nothing unsettles this family more than the family company. The foundation of the Quartermain family legacy is ELQ. With significant assets and interests in many industries, it is a strong conglomerate. The success of ELQ is intimately connected to the family's riches and position. Every Quartermain is aware that the family cannot prosper without the business coming first. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that Ned's shares are in serious jeopardy given that he is essentially insane. The Quartermains will have to make some difficult choices on who will speak on Ned's behalf while he is otherwise unreachable since ELQ is at risk. Hospital in general. The most evident alternative is Olivia Quartermain. Olivia Quartermain, Lisa Losicero, Ned's wife, is one potential representative. Olivia would seem to be a logical candidate because she is a family member and someone who is trusted by the majority of people. Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, Ned's mother, might not be content with this arrangement. Tracy has always been adamant about upholding the family's interests, and it's possible that she has her own ideas regarding the shares. In Tracy's opinion, Olivia isn't a true Quartermain either. The majority of the cues, according to G.H., have disagreed with Ned Quartermain. Ned recently found a surprising friend in Valentin Cassidy, James Patrick Stewart, 
the ELQ company's newest shareholder. Valentin is the only member of the key clan who has consistently stood with Ned in recent years, despite the fact that few in the key clan are likely to think he should have any voice in the matter. Tracy might agree with it, but it's unclear where Olivia will stand on the Lynn subject. Main, Amanda Sen, who might welcome a fair approach from a businessman like Valentin, who is solely concerned about the company and not Ned's welfare. In addition, Ned's family including Michael Corinto's, Chad Duell, hasn't exactly been on his side lately. Hospital in general, Drew Kane has a lot to handle considering the rest of the family. Another significant figure in the ELQ story is Drew Kane. Drew may fight Tracy and Olivia over Ned's shares, but it's unlikely given that he's presently engaged in negotiating a sting operation in Spring Ridge that could grow into a more extensive one in Pentonville. But his involvement adds still another level of intricacy to the already convoluted web of family ties and business power struggles. Tracy will make sure that any attempt by Drew or anyone else to establish a claim to Ned's shares is greeted with fierce resistance. In any scenario, the family will need to work together to decide how to proceed without Ned in the benefit of ELQ. Will Eddie Main want a seat at the board table, by the way? Trinette urges Portia to mend her marriage when Ned disappears. According to General Hospital, Trina wants to spend some quality time with Spencer now that she has mostly recovered from the paternity revelation that initially confused her. But when Spencer is summoned into work for an ace-related emergency, their romantic evening will be ruined. Alva will afterwards find herself in a terrible predicament. How is she going to escape it? To learn more. Continue reading TV season and spoilers. The rules are set by Laura Collins. Brooke Lynn discovers her missing father. Ace is in Spencer Cassidy's best interest. He simply cannot stand to be around Esme, Ace's mother. On General Hospital, Spencer is regrettably forced to share a house with her. It's possible that Spencer and Ace will argue or otherwise clash in the episode, airing on June 22, 2023. Laura will be extremely angry by this and will issue them both a severe warning before putting them in their proper places. Later, Laura will show Anna her compassionate side. The fact that they were fired from the agency would still make the former WSB agents unhappy. But Laura will make an effort to make her feel better. Brooke Lynn, who works at General Hospital, will experience a major shock when she discovers that her father, Ned Aka, Eddie is no longer in his hospital room. She'll undoubtedly freak out, and people will start looking for him. The hints hint that Nina will run across a familiar figure in the Thursday episode. It is therefore likely that she will locate Ned and take him back to the Quartermains. However, we ponder whether seeing Nina in person will trigger a memory in his brain. Carly angry with Drew's sentence. Ava and Austin overcome a challenge Carly who is still grieving from the shock of Drew's heavy punishment on General Hospital, will be in another part of Port Charles. He admitted to the insider trading incident and was aiming for a six-month Spring Ridge prison sentence. But when the judge gave him two years at Pentonville, he was truly taken aback. General Hospital hints that Drew will be making a pledge to someone on June 22, 2023. Perhaps it will be a vow made to Darling Scout or to Carly. To discover out, we shall have to wait. On General Hospital, some unsettling news will stun Ava Jerome and Austin Holt. Perhaps the mysterious lady boss will send Mason a message. Whatever it is, it will cause Ava to tremble, and Austin will act inexplicably to defend himself and Ava. The possibility exists that his action will put him in the path of Sunny's fury, but the spoilers suggest that he won't have any second thoughts about it. We wonder what the long-term expense would be. Spoilers for General Hospital. Trina pressures Portia to pardon Curtis. On an earlier episode of General Hospital, Curtis kissed Jordan just before deciding to return to Portia. Later, Jordan slept with Zeke and revealed to him the details of the kiss. Zeke has now discovered that Curtis, his brother-in-law, was the one who kissed the former Jordan. So despite Jordan's plea that he not tell Portia everything he did, Portia is now upset. 
Trina is on a different page with Curtis. She recently joined a whole family and wants to keep it that way. Trina of General Hospital will therefore pressure Portia to forgive Curtis. She will advise Portia to put the past entirely behind her and focus sincerely on her marriage to Curtis. Jordan will be furious that Zeke told Portia the truth, while Curtis will be upset that Jordan told Zeke the truth. In the following episodes, unless everyone involved chooses to forgive, this thread might become very knotted. Do you believe that would occur? In the comments, please. Watch General Hospital in the interim to discover if Portia Curtis and Jordan Zeke are able to save their marriage.